In our last demo, we talked about installing Google SDK and uh, initializing uh, G Cloud or Google SDK. In this one, we're going to talk about how to create uh, some credentials and then use them internally in our local environment so that we can authenticate with Google. So the first thing that I want to do is, um, and you can do this, yeah, you know, second step. But the first thing that I'll that I'll do is basically install. Um, Google Cloud BigQuery module for Python. So simply type pip install upgrade Google Cloud BigQuery. Hit enter. It should only take a few seconds. I had it pre installed, but it really doesn't take that long. And after we're done with that, um, then we will actually open up a browser window um, and navigate to our console. So I'll type console.cloud.google.com and log in. So here I'll see a hamburger menu at the left side. I'll click on that and I will go to um, I am an admin, scroll down to service accounts and I'll be creating a new service account. So uh, this service account is what I'm going to use to authenticate and connect to my Google uh, Cloud Platform and its services. So this one, I can name it, um, let's see, Ask Pi. That should be good. And we'll call this um, Python Data. So we'll just hit the create button here. And now we're going to select a role and we want to be able to access with this account, uh, BigQuery. And we will give it a BigQuery user role. Uh, so that should be sufficient enough to get um, this role access to BigQuery. We'll click continue there. Uh, now this is important that you enter the uh, service account users role. Uh, basically, you're gonna provide the email that you authenticated with um, when you set up your uh, G Cloud init. So I'm gonna enter this email here, and it recognizes me. So, um, so that's good. Uh, my account's already here. That's the primary account anyway. And we will create a key as well. Actually, I'm just going to hit done and then I'll come back and create a key. So I'm going to click on this and then I'll create a key. And it'll be a JSON key. This is what we're going to download locally. So going to save one and I had created one previously so um, I'm just going to write over that one just hit save replace close save and we're good to go now the uh, the next step that we're going to do is um, go to our terminal and update a line in our bash profile I like to use Nano, but you can use Vim or whichever editor you're comfortable with using. So at the end of my uh, Bash profile, I'm going to enter this particular line, export Google application credentials, and then point to the path where I saved my file. And that's all you need to really do. Uh, exit out of that, and then we will. You can either close your terminal or source your Bash file. And that should be good. And I'm just going to deactivate my virtual environment. This is um, this is something you can set up separate. There we go. Okay. So now that we're here, um, let's talk about creating that program so uh, first thing is 
to import your modules that you need uh, to interface with BigQuery. Uh, I'm going to use Pandas since that's a very commonly used uh, data analysis module. Uh, so I'll begin by importing Pandas. Uh, then uh, that library or module that I installed earlier, uh, Google, I'll use uh, from Google Cloud, I'll, I'll import BigQuery. Uh, then I'll set my project um, to the project that I have uh, in Google. So that is OSK Demo. Actually, I think it has a different name. So I think it's OSK Demo-277900. So I'm going to change it to that. I think either might work, but I'm just going to change it to that complete name. And then this BQ data set, I had gone in here earlier and actually created a data set. Um, I don't think this is necessary if you don't necessarily, if you don't define one. Um, but if you get errors, uh, then just go ahead and create uh, a default data set to uh, reference and you can do that by clicking on the project name creating a data set and then entering your data set here so that's all okay uh, so from here I have the data set then I'm going to instantiate my client library and then um, my data set reference here and then I have a function um, that I created, which basically is going to run uh, the a query that I passed through, uh, save the results to a results variable, and then return that results in the form of a data frame. So I'm going to unindent that and uh, to get the, the proper indentation. And so let, next, we're going to run, um, run a query. So in my, uh, so BigQuery has public data available to it. And uh, let's go ahead and see what that looks like when we query that information. So this is a uh, query that you can, um, that's used to query some data that's available in big, uh, that's a big query data set, it's a public data set. Um, and as you see here, big query, public data, uh, it's Austin 311 calls basically uh, so for the city of Austin, when people call animal control, that's what the uh, the sample data set is. So I'm going to enclose this query in triple quotes, uh, save it as a string, and then I will call it in my function. So I will say data frame is equal to the function that I created, and then I'll pass the query parameter. And then um, let's take we'll take a look at the first five records that result uh, from this query. So basically. Um, as I mentioned, we're querying, we're querying a public data set from Google um, and it has uh, these particular fields in it. These are the ones that we're looking at. Um, and so down here, we have created a function previously, uh, what you see up here, and it, result, and it returns the results to a data frame. And so we'll be previewing what that data frame has. So I'll type Python, pad is in BigQuery, which is this file name, hit enter. And then you can see here that um, we have this file information. Of course, it's probably uh, easier to work with a with pandas uh, within a Jupyter notebook. Um, so you can actually start up a Jupyter notebook with uh, within Visual Studio Code. But feel free to do it anyway. I mean, uh, the meat of it is really the code to get you there and to um, you know get you to big get you to query. Or and start using the Google Cloud Platform BigQuery services and other services, and this is essentially how you go about doing it. Uh, that is, installing the SDK, initializing it, and then um, you know installing the needed Python modules, and then just instantiating your information, and then you're you're good to go. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.